Well, it's time for another life casting tutorial. This time we're going to be introducing a new silicone formula for life casting. This is our copycat silicone. Uh, this is a one-to-one -one mix ratio silicone that is designed for specifically for life casting. And the benefit to this formula is that it does not require a mold release. Now, what that means is for like close cropped hair, eyebrows, things like that, just general body hair does not require any kind of special release like either Vaseline or cholesterol or any of those kinds of uh, release agents. So that's a, for those of you who've been asking for that, we finally have it. Um, and this is a really nice, very dry formula. When it cures, it doesn't have an oily uh, residue. Sometimes when you make uh, self-releasing formulas, they exude oils and things like that. So the copycat formula is really nice in that it does not do that. Um, now, anytime you have a formula like that that does self-release, from, especially from hair, like uh, my beard is about the perfect length for this kind of application, when you're dealing with that, unlike say gel 25, which when it cures has really good tough tear strength, the sacrifice that you have to make chemically to make something that will release from hair is you're losing some of that tear strength. So that's an important consideration when you're doing large molds like full head cast and things like that with copycat silicone. And that can be used in conjunction with some of our other silicones like gel 25 or gel 10. Um, but typically, uh, if you're doing a face cast or you know, fairly straightforward life casting applications, you would just do it 100% with the copycat silicone. So in this tutorial, I wanted to just discuss the basic use and a couple of ways that this formula can easily be modified for some life casting applications. Now, as this comes, this is a very thick formula, so these are almost, uh, almost like a putty kind of consistency, both the A and B. And because of that thick consistency, and this is another one of those times where I really prefer to, uh, to use a weight ratio as opposed to a volume ratio, just because it's, it's much easier to weigh this out and nail it down than to try to eyeball the amounts. Now I've done that before and this is a fairly forgiving formula, but again, just so to minimize waste, measuring this out by, uh, by weight is always going to be a preferable way to go, especially if you're working on really uh, crucial applications. But one of the benefits to a formula like this is if you're working with new models or if you're working with actors or actresses that don't want to have to do a lot of cleanup after the cast. And not that uh, you know, gel 25 doesn't require a huge amount of cleanup after the cast is removed, but there are, uh, there are subjects that are uh, not real keen on the idea of having to clean off a mold release, like even like Vaseline, off of their skin. It is a fairly persistent material. So this allows for a life cast to be done with uh, basically no cleanup. So that, that is preferable for some subjects. Now one of the little tricks I like to do when I'm measuring this out is I go ahead and just leave my stir sticks in there so I can keep track and I don't cross contaminate. And because this is thicker, I like to scoop it out with two and, and do that process because it's just a lot cleaner than trying to pour it or, and really this is too thick to pour, but much easier to scoop it out this way. And in our shop, when we're working out of really big buckets, we'll even use like ice cream scoops. Some of those big uh, ice cream scoops are perfect for this. Okay. So we have our silicone measured out. Now we have our two components measured out into our mixing cup. And this particular formula is made to uh, have a working time and demold time very similar to a standard alginate formula. So this has about a five minute working time. And really by the time you get this applied and put your plaster bandages on, it's ready to demold. So very fast turnaround time on that. So if you're doing a large cast like a, a full head and shoulders cast with this, 
you can do it, but you definitely want to have assistance. I like to work with a couple of other people when I'm doing a full head cast with this material. And again, remember that working time starts as, as soon as the components go together. Now I'm going to show a couple of, of tips here for as it comes, this is a pretty thick paste. And we have customers that prefer it different ways. So I'm going to show you a couple of ways to, to work with this. And one of the things that we did specifically in this was by having that very obvious contrasting colors, it's easy to make sure that you get a good positive mix. But that is our normal consistency. Out of the kit, when you mix that up, that's what you're going to have. And I'm going to show just on my arm how you can put that in like that. Just work it into the hair. So that is the normal kind of out of the kit, so to speak, copycat silicone consistency. Now, so you can see another variation on this. And this is the way, personally, when I'm working with this, I like it to be a little runnier. So I add at 10 to 20 percent silicone fluid. And that just makes it spread a little bit more like a, uh, like a, a traditional alginate formula. And that allows some of you who uh, are more accustomed to making light cast molds using uh, standard like prosthetic grade cream or the AccuCast 590 or any of those formulas, it's going to behave more like that and allows for a much uh, more traditional hand application. If you're used to doing a lot of old school life casts, you'll appreciate that particular way to do it. And just so you can see how that goes on, I'm going to put some of that right here. And you see that, that this formula with it, just a little bit of silicone fluid, really helps it get into, especially if you're working over uh, like close cropped hair and eyebrows, really getting it into the skin texture underneath the hair. And just so you can see how this works with uh, hair the length of my beard, I'm going to go ahead. And just apply some of that to my beard. Got to use that handy playback monitor. Let me check my, my work here. So I'm going to go ahead and let that set up on my face and you can see how that demolds and of course what I put on my arm. But the nice thing about that is, remember, as with any platinum silicone formula, heat as acts as a natural accelerator. So the body heat of your subject will speed that up. But also important to remember that if you're working in the summertime, that five minutes is going to be dropped down to more like three minutes. So be aware of that and be ready to move quick. If you're in a cooler uh, climate right now, uh, I'm in a fairly cool workshop at probably around high 60s, maybe 70 degrees. So that's going to give me a little bit more working time than somebody in a warm shop, say in spring or summertime. So be aware of that, that again, the temperature greatly affects those set times and uh, working time. And that's really, that becomes really pronounced when you're working with a formula that's already a fast setting formula because just a few degrees temperature can radically change the properties of the silicone. Now what's on my arm is already tacking up a little bit. Um, what's on my face is lagging behind a little bit because even though it's the same batch because I've added that silicone fluid and because I started applying that to my face later, that's extended that working time ever so slightly. So that silicone fluid does adjust that set time a little bit, so be aware of that. Um, but for most of you, that's going to be a good thing. Typically, where I put in more of the silicone fluid is for body cast. So if I'm covering a large area, I want to be able to quickly spread that out without having to really work like a frosting consistency into a large surface area. 
Okay, it's a few moments later and uh, we're ready for the moment of truth. So obviously with this around my jaw, it makes speech a little bit more difficult, but uh, this will give you a good idea as to the release properties. And because I do have a lot of, we, you know, anytime you have hair going a lot of different directions, the hair is not necessarily stuck, but you want to be patient pulling that so that uh, you don't yank hair in an uncomfortable direction. So you just slowly and deliberately pull that and all that hair just pulls right out. right out of the silicone, not out of my head. So there you have the basic use of the copycat silicone. Um, other than the addition of silicone fluid, which again is, is completely optional depending on what your application is, um, most of the working properties are going to be very similar to some of our other fast setting silicone formulas. Uh, the main advantage, of course, is that you can do that without any release, which of course minimizes cleanup on your model. So in the video description, I'm going to link to some live casting resources on our website that will have additional, more uh, in-depth tutorials using the new copycat silicone. So be sure to check those out. There will be a link to that in the video description, as well as a product link. Um, so be sure to check that out. And as always, be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already, and click the bell icon so you get notified when we create new content.